Hello everyone, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a 10 second timer in PowerPoint. Uh, you can really do this with any number of seconds, but we're just going to be doing it with 10 today. So what you want to do is you want to open up a new presentation in PowerPoint, and go to Layout, and go Blank. And then we're going to insert an oval, and we're just going to click wherever, which will create a, a circle for us, and then we'll press Shift, and then make it bigger. We're going to then align it to the middle and then align center so that it's right in the middle of our presentation. We're then going to make the fill of the shape black and then make the shape outline none. You can make this a bit bigger and then we're going to go to design, format background and then click on the shapes that we're in format shape options. We're going to make the transparency to 50 which means you can insert this into other slides and videos so that, and then you can still see the uh, background behind the, the timer. So um, then what we're going to do is we're going to insert one of these, um, which is going to be the, the green timer, which will run while the seconds are counting on the, on the timer. So. We want to make this as big as the, the the other circle, so we want to wait until it it aligns with the circle. So we've got it there, and then this is how big the circle is. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this one instead green, because this is what the color is of the, of the timer, and then make it no outline. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the animation pane, and then we're going to go here, and then go wheel as an exit. And we're going to set it to 10 seconds, as, this, as that is how long we're, our timer is going to be. And then we're going to go to the animation pane. And then create, in, in home, create a text box. And just type in 10, or however many seconds you're doing. And then you can change the font and size and things like that. So I'm using Arial Black and a font of 40. want to align this in the center of the PowerPoint again, it will snap to it when you're hovering over it. And we're going to go into the animations and then press it here. And then in the animation pane, you click on the drop down and then we do with previous so that that's going with the circle. And while we're here we can also make the circle go with previous which means it'll run as soon as we start the slideshow. Now we go back to the text box, click the drop down go add animation and go disappear then we do this you do with previous delay one second now pop the, highlight the text box press control which will make a copy of the text box then input the number nine and make this center and then this you can put in the center of, like where the 10 is over the 10 and then in the animation pane, press on the appear entrance and go with previous. And then in the appear, uh, disappear, exit, go to the animation and go delay two seconds. And then you do that with the rest of the numbers and I'll see you then. Okay, so now we've done all the, the numbers, we're going to have to do the animation the same. So we click on the entrance of the, of this this one is the number 7, and we go with previous, and then for the next one we're going to go delay up that. You can also, to, to make it quicker, you can just highlight all of these after you've done the delay. So if let's say we highlight these exits, we can push up the delay by one second, and then unhighlight that one, push the delay up by one second. Oh wait, I think this one needs to go up in another second. And then we can highlight these ones again, make it push up another second, and then unhighlight that one. And just keep doing that. So 
So now we've got all the, we've done all the exits. We can highlight all of these and just simply go with previous, click with previous again, and then it will uh, snap to the the one before it. So if we play it now, we've got the timer that goes. I think we can make the text a bit bigger, but this is essentially what the timer is. And to make, for example, a 30 second timer, you can make the this animation here be the number of seconds that you you want the timer to be in the duration here and then you just add more text boxes here but that's essentially it thanks for watching and i hope you like this video comment and share it and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel